Okay, now we get towards all of our detailed information is complete. And we're going to give kind of the ending of this body of information, these details. And probably the audience did get a little bit bored. Some people got bored for sure. Some people got confused. Some people are just not that interested. So we need to signal that, okay, this part is done. We had the exciting beginning. Now we just had the content and it was a little bit boring. Now I'm going to signal our upcoming ending, which should be exciting again. So we need to give that concluding kind of signal. In conclusion, this company's share price has held up even during slow economic times and will support new expansion efforts. So we use the word in conclusion. That's a good signal. To conclude, the need for changes is strong and we have a proposal. So to conclude. I now come to the conclusion, which is already clear from the facts I've presented. It's really clear, right? I now come to the conclusion. These four points can only lead to one conclusion. So lots of conclusion here, right? Conclusion, conclude, conclusion, conclusion. You're making it very, very clear that we're getting towards the end of this section of detail. In conclusion, now the conclusion, let me conclude. We must conclude. Give that signal. Another way we can do this is highlighting. So while we're giving our information, we may kind of summarize or highlight. If there's something that's important and you want it to stand out, you can say something like this. In particular, in particular, our SWOT analysis leads us a new market strategy. I think this is a little bit of a typo. This should be, in particular, our SWOT analysis leads us to, to a new market strategy. Yeah, that's better. This review is especially important in determining my research design. Let me emphasize only a small number of our customers have a problem with this product. So in particular, this review is especially important. Let me emphasize. So these are ways to highlight, bring attention to a special point. Okay, what about digressing? So when you're making your presentation, you may use something called digression. And digressing means you kind of go off topic. You talk about something different. You talk about something that's not your exact topic. So for example, you could begin by saying, by the way, by the way, you may, you may have seen a story in the newspaper last week about our new product line. Or, in passing, I just want to emphasize how effective our approach has been. So in this case, we have, by the way, and in passing. These are ways to say, well, let me just change the topic for a second. Now, it's not a total change. You don't say something like, by the way, today's a beautiful day. I mean, you could say that, but it'd be very strange, right? But rather, you want to say something that's kind of related to your topic, but allows you to address the audience. So by the way, you may have seen a report about our research, but by the way, you may have read about the new successful research that was completed last week. We did something very similar to that, right? So that's a way to kind of change topic, but not totally change topic. It's called digressing.